veterans made some nice catches. He's having some fun in his last game on that sideline for 2006. And Jason Tucker has a touchdown. Good consideration. Ricky Ray, do you yep. give him the nod because he goes over 5,000? 20 to 10. Edmonton with the lead. Short oh. kick. Let's see. Jump ball. And it is brought down by Robert LeBlanc. And the Eskimos get the ball on an alert play by LeBlanc. Well, I'm not sure if Lance Frazier didn't know that it was an onside kick because he had a great opportunity to get there and get a chance at it, and he ran right by it. Now, this is clearly a called play by Danny Barrett because Luka Kanji turns hard, and, and it's the onside kick. Watch 15 over on the right on the left side. He just ran right by the football. Had he stopped and jumped up, he caught that in the air. He was gone. I mean, he just runs by, and now the official loses his footing on turf there in yeah. Commonwealth. And, and then gets and then run over. over. Yeah, that's the problem. Of, he, he player okay. ran over Steve Deliniak, so he is shaking up the line judge, but... Okay. He'll be He'll be back. Okay. He regroup, but that's you know this is one guy they want to look at. You know this is a guy that comes. Lance Frazier has NFL experience. Played 12 games with the Dallas Cowboys. Had a couple interceptions. He's got some experience. He's a cover guy. One of the first players that Eric Tillman has signed as the new general manager in Saskatchewan. This is a reach, but you don't think he he's learning all the new rules and he thought maybe there's no yards on kickoffs too because <laughs> he really he ran by the football there when it looked like. The Rough Riders had a shot at it. Well, hey, I mean, listen, he's he's only had a few a month to practice, and he's trying to learn the rules. He's trying to learn the game. He's trying to cover these great receivers and Jason Tucker and guys like that. It's a lot to ask. Giles remains the quarterback. McClendon, the running back, and he runs into Anson McKenzie and company. Get back to the line of scrimmage and maybe one. You know, and there's, this is a good time for Danny Barrett to not only practice some of these specialty plays, but also plant in the mind of the Calgary Stampeders. And Tom Higgins is spotting from the Edmonton booth up here. I, I walked by him earlier in the game, and, and he is watching this game, and he's watching Danny Barrett. He sees the onside kick. I wouldn't be surprised to see Danny Barrett try a couple of fakes. Put some plays in there that he's going to force the Calgary Stampeders heading into the playoffs to practice against. When they go to that playoff game. They're telling us yesterday we're playing well at the right time. Second down passing situation. Giles gets it out there. Richard Alston the catch. Well, that was a flick of the wrist from Steven Giles. He just he, he didn't even turn his body, his mechanics in throwing the football. Basically, to get it to that wide field, about 45 yards from that hash mark to the sideline out there. And he bears it, barely even turns around and looks that way. He kind of flicks his wrist across his body, and there he is. But you know one guy that's scouting this game and scouting Saskatchewan is that man right there, the head coach of the Calgary Stampeders, Tom Higgins. Western semifinal. Next week at McMahon, a big crowd. They anticipate it. Fleming to Dorsey. And Dominic Dorsey, nowhere to go. 4.07 remaining third quarter at Commonwealth. 